Brett, sure, pumpkin pie around Thanksgiving and Christmas may be delicious, but don't forget the rest of the year, though. You know, any day is a pie day. New Mexico Pie Company is here today to prove just that. Talk about some Easter and spring pies. Andrea Schulte is here. Good morning, Andrea. It's good morning, to see you. Matt. Okay, spring pie. Uh, if I think spring pie, I'm thinking berry pie. Am I right? Yes. Okay. We do berries. We do strawberries, cherries, blueberries. I have. A cherry rhubarb pie today. Okay, so this is interesting. What we're seeing there, that's a blueberry, but then there's this one, which is a cherry rhubarb. Usually I hear strawberry rhubarb. Why do you do cherry rhubarb? I like to do everything a little bit different, mm -hmm. and the cherries are just really nice tart cherries, and they add a nice extra tart and flavor and sweetness to the rhubarb. And cherries are really in season right now, aren't they? Yes. So it's a great time to go ahead and bake with them. You got the, what, what do you call this little topping? Crisscross? Uh, lattice. lattice. Lattice, close enough. Crisscross is what a guy who doesn't bake calls it. Um, and then you got the, uh, you also talk about the, the blueberry, which is just, uh, love blueberries. Careful there. <laughs> um, with a little, what kind of topping you got there? Uh, we have an oat streusel topping. Oat streusel. With vanilla and brown sugar and butter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That looks incredible as well. Now, the other thing, yeah, I'm, we're going to try to make something here. This is a, a, a lemon, a yes. type of lemon pie. This is like what this. the finished product looks like. What, what is this exactly? This is a lemon icebox pie. So it's a cold, creamy pie. Okay. And we have a baked pie shell here. Mm -hmm. And we have fresh made lemon curd that I've made oh, by hand. Oh, so, okay. So what's in this lemon curd? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to whip one up as pretty as yours. I'm probably going to fail, FYI. But So what's in this lemon curd? Lemon curd is lots of fresh lemons, lemon zest, some sugar, and eggs. It's very slowly cooked to be like a fresh pudding. Really? Very okay. Because that's what kind of, the, it, it almost has like a puddingy, uh, it's moving all around on me. Um, I'm sure you do a lot better than I do. A puddingy custard keep type. On going. Oh, keep going. Do I need yeah. to take all of it out, basically? Yeah, you can use all of it. Oh, okay. We want it really lemony. And do you want real lemony? Okay. So you do this, and then you get this on here. So how long does it? And you say it cooks for a long time. It cooks uh, in a pan on on top of the stove, right? Yeah, over a double boiler. I cook the lemon curd really slowly to make it very creamy for about an hour to an hour and a half. And is it like uh, is it like one of those things where you got to constantly stir? Yes, you have to yeah. constantly stir so you don't have scrambled eggs. <laughs> okay, so we did that, and now, okay, now I mean, we this have is, whipped cream. Theoretically, this is a pretty easy pie to make for someone at home, right? You pretty just, easy. You make that, and now the we, lemon curd's the hardest part in the crust. Okay. Now you have to try to get it just as pretty as this one. Oh, I'm trying. I'm probably going to fail. Now, obviously, <laughs> um, Easter a very busy time for you. If people uh, are not nearly as talented as I am, and they want to go ahead and order a pie. From Mexico Pie Company. When do they need to get their order in by? Um, by Friday for a Saturday pickup before that's Easter. That's it? Yes. Wow, that's not they can too order bad of a notice. Order for all throughout us, the week. For all of us procrastinators, obviously you would like people to get it earlier, the better. Right. Up until Friday, at the very latest, I'll take orders for Easter for pickup. On Friday or Saturday, I, just I also make these great little miniature I want to talk about those real quickly, because in case people want, uh, say, a sample, they can't choose which pie they want, uh, they can get the, the a mini platter. What's in the mini platter? How much does something like that cost? Um, they cost about $2 for per mini pie. Okay. And I do a whole assortment that you can order. I have a chocolate cream, a little blueberry pie, key lime, the lemon, uh, lemon curd pie, and we do different pecan pies as oh well. Oh my goodness. I got a question. Is your key lime pie getting more expensive? I hear there's this like lime shortage. Um, um, I know margaritas are getting off the charts. The key, key limes have not been too bad. So okay. I can keep the price consistent. All right. So, okay. I just want to show that you this good, real Matt. quick. I have become a baker. Not only do you make incredible pie, you can also teach a guy to make a pie as well. I should do a pie class. You should do a pie class. I could help teach it too. This is, so this one is yours, that one's mine. Is it bad? What do you judge it? Scale of 1 to 10? I'd give it a 7. 7? Okay, by the way, I want to mention this too. You now have, uh, you, you were cooking out of a commercial kitchen. Now you have your own shop. Business is going so well. Where is it? Yes, I'm located at 4003 Carlisle Boulevard Northeast. Okay. That's in between Montgomery and Comanche. And we have a full pie shop with coffee, drinks, lattes, tea, oh my goodness. sweet and savory pies. So people can just go pick up. You have stuff there that people can go pick up. I know yes. Easter's probably a bad weekend to it. So we're a full service pie bakery. We do lots of fun stuff. Okay. Andrea Schulte from the Mexico Pie Company. Thanks for coming in. Love all this. Can't wait to dig in. Go to Casa.com for more. We'll be right back.